Okay, we're going to be talking about CSV files in Windows PowerShell. And it's a really cool feature, really easy. CSV files are still widely used, uh, not only for stuff like Excel and, and creating spreadsheets and, and being able to do dynamic analysis of, of information, but also to pass information from uh, one program to another that may, you know, they may not natively work with each other, but they both use the CSV format. So you can output stuff from one program and then input it into another one. Uh, now, PowerShell can create CSV files on the fly natively. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. We're going to use get process. I like to use get process, it's got a bunch of different data we can work with so there's a bunch of get process data now if I want to turn this into a CSV file all I have to do is say convert to CSV wasn't that hard bam look at that now you'll notice that when I convert it to a CSV there's a lot more data in here than there was before and that's because uh, PowerShell commandlets usually only display the relevant information there's all kinds of objects going on behind the scenes that you can extrapolate and when you convert it to a CSV it just throws it all out there we don't want all that we we only want a few of them so let's use select object and we're gonna specify we want the name uh, and then how about the CPU and then we're gonna get a description and uh, we'll also pull the product and then we're gonna pipeline those objects to convert to CSV now let's run that and you'll notice that we have a lot uh, fewer fields to work with it's a little easier to read so now we have our CSV file on the host and we want an actual file of it so now we just pipeline it to out file simple commands and I'm just gonna put it on my desktop I'm having all sorts of troubles here aren't I oh it's getting even better okay and I already have one called test so I'm just gonna overwrite that let's run it it ran let me open it up and here we go here's our new CSV file so that was pretty simple it took one little line of code and we have all these things here so now we can actually put these in to a program that will interpret it so for that purpose I'm gonna use Google Docs I'm gonna go ahead and upload it here come down to test start the upload open it up and here we go looks good to me check it out we have our name CPU description and product perfect so now you could take this and and you can put it in Excel you can put it in Google Docs you can use it in whatever program uh, you use that requires or, or uses CSV files so that was it we you take some objects you select the objects that you want pipe them to convert to CSV and then take that CSV data and pipeline it to a CSV file and you'll have yourself a CSV created by PowerShell so thanks for watching